All right, I wanted to make a video about this because whenever I read something from you guys, it's inspired by God. <laughs> it is. So, if you wanted me to read this, you know, it's from you, Robert. Archangel, the holy man. You are holy, my friend. You are holy. Compared to me, yeah. You know what I mean? You're up in the sky. You're Archangel. You're the holy man. You're being here. I mean, you know all the holy scriptures. You know the word of God, <laughs> trust me. You do. You know. I say you're the holy man. <laughs> Even if you don't say you're the holy man, I say you're the holy man. Alright. <clears throat> and it's uh, Philippians 2.12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always be obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's important scripture. There's parts of that scripture I don't remember. I, I remember reading the fear and trembling thing. But uh, there's some key things to this that's very key that sticks out. As ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Those two lines right there. It's easy to obey Jesus when you can feel him. You know what I mean? You know, you, you obviously feel his love. You know, you feel like, you know, it's obvious he's there. It's easy to obey Jesus at that time. Peace, Kim. <laughs> What's love you? But there's other times, and a lot of you have probably experienced this like I have, where it seems like there's, where did Jesus go? He's nowhere to be found. You know what I mean? You don't feel Jesus' presence like you did in, in the past. And it makes you like, okay, maybe I can goof off. Yep. That's what, that's what God's trying to do. Cause I've done that. I'm like, God's not watching. <laughs> you know, he went somewhere else. I'll goof up. You know, do these things I normally do. You know, <laughs> you know, that God's not pleased about. It. So he's put me to the test. You know, what I mean? cause that temptation's there. I'm like, okay, okay. It doesn't seem like uh, Jesus is watching like normal. Or like in the past, you know, I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel the love of his love like I have in the past. It, okay, it makes you feel like you want to goof off, you know, like, like, like the parent went away to work. That's it. It's like Jesus went away to work. You know what I mean? He's like we can goof off now, guys. You know, everybody in the twelve man team, we can goof off. Jesus went to work. <laughs> he ain't watching us. Hey, let's work. Let's party. Yeah, the Holy Spirit's watching us now. <laughs> He's a tattletale. Yeah, he's a tattletale. He is. So it's hard to get away with stuff. It feels like Jesus is away. Holy Spirit's a tattletale on us. He is. That's another reason. Like, I can't get away with anything with Holy Spirit. I can't get away with anything. But yeah. But that temptation's still there. Even with Holy Spirit. When, it, when you're like, okay, I'm not feeling the love of Jesus like I have in the past. I'm not feeling his love. It's a different feel between the, the feel of the Holy Spirit and the feel of the love of Jesus. It's a different feel. It is. It is. A totally different feel. Both good feels, but they're different to me. You know. So, usually, if I'm feeling the love of Jesus right now, I would I, I get somewhat emotional. I would I get emotional. He ain't here. Well, his love's not on me. It's just the Holy Spirit, you know, I feel good, you know, the Holy Spirit's making me feel good. That's the difference. So since I'm not feeling the obvious love of Jesus, the obvious, I'm like, hmm, maybe he went to work. <laughs> maybe he went somewhere else in the galaxy. Maybe Jesus went somewhere else, you know what I mean? So it's a test, because there's these periods of time where it seems like Jesus went away, you know what I mean? And then he'll come back and you'll feel his love. You're like, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Jesus like, he ain't cares. You know, I do, you know. All right. You know what I mean? But when he's away, you're like, you think you get a little sneaky. You do. You get a little sneaky. You're like, I wonder if he's watching. I wonder if he's watching. Like, 
subconsciously. I mean, I do know he's watching because I, I'm alive. <laughs> I know he's watching when I don't think he is, basically. <laughs> so he's put me to the test here. Because it does seem like Jesus went away somewhere else. It does seem like that. Yeah, he went away somewhere else, you know what I mean? <laughs> he went somewhere else. And left, and left Holy Spirit in charge. You know, I mean, that's what it feels like. Holy Spirit's in charge. Jesus went somewhere else. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. <laughs> what can we get away with, guys? You know what I mean? What can we get away with now that Jesus is away? <laughs> now that Jesus is away, what can we get away with? <laughs> Just kidding. So that's the test. Now much more in my absence. And this is one of those times it feels like Jesus is absent. You know what I mean? It does. <laughs> I can't sense him. I feel Holy Spirit. I don't sense Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's one of those times it is. Yeah. There's that temptation there is, you know what I mean? <laughs> to be that rebellious kid. You know what I mean? To be that rebellious kid, like, ha, ah, Jesus went away. He, he doesn't know what I'm going to do. It's there. It is. <laughs> I think I understand the work out your salvation with fear, though. I haven't trembled yet with my salvation. I don't think I've trembled <laughs> working out my salvation. Maybe a little, you know, who knows. But there's been some fear working out my salvation. For sure. Working out your salvation is not an easy thing. It's not an easy path. It isn't. <laughs> For a lot of reasons, it's not. There's many things you have to work through. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like you get salvation one and done. It's not like that. <laughs> no. Getting saved is like the beginning of working out your salvation. <laughs> the beginning <laughs> I'm like six months into working out my salvation <laughs> it's been interesting for sure yeah. working a lot of things in my body <laughs> that's what it feels like I'm working out a lot of things in my body <laughs> from the inside out <laughs> you know getting the garbage out He may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. That's what God wants. It is. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. real test sometimes it is anybody can be obedient to Jesus when they feel Jesus right, you know right there <laughs> like literally right there his love's his love's like right on you it's easy to be obedient to Jesus you know what I mean it is but when it feels like he's away which he does do that that's the real test. It is. Can I obey him when it feels like he's not there? Can I obey Jesus with just me and Holy Spirit? Can 
and I still obey Jesus, right? And it doesn't feel like he's watching me. Yeah, I bet. The temptation of that is to, you know, like like the parent went away. Like the parent went away to work or went away to on vacation. I'm home alone. That's what it is. I'm like home alone. I can do whatever I want, you know? Jesus ain't watching me. I'm home alone. Temptations there, and like, is he watching? I don't know. Your mind, your mind makes you think that he's not. You know, he ain't, he ain't watching me. I don't sense him anywhere. You know, I don't feel his love right now. But it does feel like I have, I have Holy Spirit babysitting me. I have Holy Spirit babysitting me. So it's even harder. Go, Holy Spirit comes. You know, I mean, I don't get away with anything. You know? Like I felt like I used to get away with. I used to feel like I got away with so many things. You know, not anymore. You still obey Jesus when when it feels like he's not anywhere to be found or feel you don't feel him anywhere. Can you still obey him? That's the real test here. I think God was telling me that for a reason. Because that temptation is there to disobey. It is. To be a rebel. <laughs> to be a rebel. That temptation is there. It is. Be a rebel. Be a rebel. Yeah. Be a rebel to God. <laughs> there you go. Be a rebel to Jesus. That temptation is there. Yeah. I wonder if other other um, other servants of God make the same mistake. They're like, "Oh, it feels like God's not watching me right now. I've been so obedient when He's watching me. I've been so obedient, but it feels like He's not watching me. I need a break. I, you know, I need to do something else. You know, I need to not obey God for a while. I need to do some worldly stuff that I used to do. That's what I'll do. I want to do some worldly stuff that I used to do." Now that it feels like God's God. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. And it's happening. 